Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey. In this video, we're going to look at my very first asset store package, which is completely free, the key door system. This is a very easy to use system for quickly placing doors and keys in your levels. You can create more keys and more doors by using simple scriptable objects. I'm also going to talk about the process on how to publish your own assets on the asset store, which is something that I've always wanted to try doing. The asset store is a really interesting platform and I'm fascinated by the fact that you can make a living as a tools developer just creating tools to help other developers. So as a test I wanted to start with something simple so I made the key door system. It's completely free so check out the store page in the description and just go ahead and download it. As you can see by the name this asset is also officially proved to work with the FPS microgame. So if you're making some quick FPS prototypes then this system will be really easy to add. And you can use it in any game, it's not limited to just the FPS microgame. It features a bunch of 3D keys and doors. So go to the web page, click on the button to add to your assets and then open in Unity. Once you click that button, it will automatically open the package manager in Unity and scroll down to the key door system. If it doesn't, then just manually open it by going into window, package manager and then click on load more until you find the key door system. Then go ahead, just download and hit on import. Just go ahead, select everything and import. Okay, so all the files get added to the project files. And right away, you can see a really nice readme. So here you see just some basic instructions on how to get started. And the readme file itself also looks really nice with some images and links. So this is actually really simple to make. In reality, this file in here is just a scriptable object. Then there's a custom inspector in order to display all the fields in this nice custom manner. I figured if I had to make a readme file, then I might as well spend some time making it look good and I'm quite happy with the result. I covered both custom inspectors and scriptable objects in previous video, so go check those out if you want to learn more. So in here, let's follow our readme instructions. Now the first thing we need is to drag the key prefab onto the level. So over here, let's open up the objects folder, and inside over here, let's drag the key prefab red. So just drag it straight onto the level. By the way, this level that I'm using here is the FPS microgame project. I'm using this to demo the system symbol because it already has a very nice FPS character controller. Okay, so we added the key onto our level. Now next, let's go to the readme. Okay, so secondly, drag the door prefab onto the level. To make sure it's the same color. So in here we have door prefab red and just drag that one. Let's rotate to face the right direction. And just place it on this nice little door hole. All right, so there's the door. Let's check out the next step. So in here, place the key. Okay, place the door. Okay. Now select the player game object and we add the door key holder script. So over here we select the player. It already has a bunch of scripts, but these don't matter. The key door system works separate from anything else. So in here, let's simply add a component and search for the door key holder. Yep, this one. And there you go. So this script essentially holds some keys. It also detects for collisions in order to add the keys to the key holder. And just like this, everything is done. So if you look in the readme, yep, these are the three essential steps. And then we have an optional step which is to add a UI element. So we go into our UI canvas, which in this project is located over here under the game manager, we have the game HUD. And we're going to drag the door key UI prefab. All right, so there it is, a very nice key indicator in our UI. Now this one is optional because everything works without it, but you might as well add it so you have a nice UI indicator showing you what keys you're holding. So the indicator, as you can see, has a field for the door key holder. So in here we select this and the door key holder is on the player. So just drag the player object straight into that field. All right. Okay. So back in the readme following the instructions and the next one is just to play the game. Okay. So let's try. Okay. Here we are in our game and we have our nice door in front of us. And if I try to go through it, nope, the door is closed, does not open. And if I pick up the key, yep, I touch the key and it gets added to my UI. And now if I approach the door, there you go, it consumes the key, it opens the door, and now I can move through it. All right, awesome. So here it is, a very simple system that you can very quickly and very easily add to your games. The whole package comes complete with everything, so you can just inspect this whole folder. There's only a handful of files, so if you want to check how it works, you can view all the source code. So over here under the scripts folder, you can see all the various scripts. Now, longtime viewers of the channel might actually realize that this system looks quite familiar. That's because the origin for this system was made quite a while ago in a dedicated video. In that video, I created the whole system from scratch, so if you want to learn how all of these scripts were made, then check that out. I originally made it in 2D, but as you can see, it works perfectly well in 3D as well. 
This system works on scriptable objects, which I've already covered in another video. Essentially, each key is a scriptable object. So that's why it's so easy to make another type of key. So let's try making that. Now in here under the keys, we have all of our various keys. So these are scriptable objects. As you can see, all they have is pretty much just a color. So we can right click in order to go into create, go into add-ons, code monkey, key door system, and create a key. Let's make this the key purple. And for the color, let's select a purple. All right, there's our purple key scriptable object. So this is just the data for the key. Now down here, we have the base key prefab along with the variants for red, green, and blue. And now we can right click in order to create. And we're going to create a new prefab variant. And let's call this the key prefab purple. And let's open the prefab. And here we have our basic key mesh. The key itself holds this script, which itself holds a reference to the scriptable object. So instead of the key red, for this one, let's use the key purple scriptable object. And on the mesh, we can also modify the material in order to make it visual. So in here, let's make another material for the key purple. Okay, we have our purple key. Now let's do the same thing for the door. So select door prefab in order to create a new prefab variant for the door prefab purple. And open the prefab and here do the same thing. So it has the door lock script, which again has a reference to the script mall object that opens this door. So in this case, let's go with the purple. And here you can also see a nice tunnel in case you want to consume the key on open or not. So by default, it uses up the key, but you could make it so you have reusable keys. Okay, so that's a key. And then over here on the unlock, we can modify the material. All right, there it is. So just like this, we created a brand new key type. So we first made the scriptable object, then we made a key prefab variant to use that scriptable object, and the same thing with the door. And now if we go back into our scene here, and let's replace these. So instead of having this key prefab and this door, let's drag our purple key prefab, and then also our purple door. Okay, so let's test. Okay, there it is, the purple door as well as the purple key. So move in, yep, there you go, grab the purple key, move in, and yep, there you go, the purple key opens the purple door. All right, so everything works and we have very easily created a brand new type of key and door. Awesome. Then here in the project files, it also comes with a really nice demo scene. So this scene is already all set up. Here it is with all the standard doors and the standard keys. So if I move in, nope, I cannot open. Now let's grab this key and grab this key and also this key and just open that one, that one, and that one, and they all open. So if you have trouble following the instructions, just check out the demo scene. So as you can see, this whole system is very simple and very easy to use. Now let's just quickly look at the code. Here is the scripts folder, and inside, for example, we have the key script. So this, as you can see, is a scriptable object, and all it really has is just the color of the key. And over here, a very nice menu, so everything is nice and organized. Then we have the door key, which is a script that is added to the key object. And all it really has is a reference to the key. Then there is the door lock, which is on the door object. So this is just a basic mono behavior. It has a reference to the key that opens this door. And then just some functions in order to play the animations. Then we also have the UI element, which is optional. So the whole system works without this. And all it really takes is just the key UI prefab, which is already set by default. And then it takes a reference to the door key holder. So in this case, we're replacing the door key holder on the player, but really anything can hold some keys. So for example, you could have the enemies hold keys using this system. And then here, just listening to some events and refreshing all the visuals. So it destroys all the old visuals and then resets and adds all of them. So this can display as many keys as your door key holding script is holding. And finally, we have the door key holder script, which in this case, it's attached to the player. So this is what actually holds the keys. It just has a list of all the keys that this one is holding. And it simply does a on trigger enter. So it listens for collisions. And if it collides with a door key, then destroys that door key object and adds that key onto this list. So that's it. As you can see, all of these scripts are very simple and it's a very nice and easy to use system. So here it is, my very first asset store package, which is the completely free key door system. This is my first asset, so please give it a download and also make sure you leave a review with your thoughts so I know what you liked and what I can do to improve in the future. Now going through the asset store publisher process was actually pretty standard. You need to first create a publisher account, then you create a package, you give it a title, description, 
add a couple of images and videos. You can also set a price or make it free. And then you upload the actual package contents from inside Unity. And finally, you set it up for review. After a while, it gets reviewed and you can launch it on the asset store. So it's a pretty simple and easy process. If you have an idea for some tool or just some assets you want to share, definitely give it a shot. I have some ideas for some complex assets that I'd love to make, so stay tuned and hit the bell icon. If you found this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing. This video is made possible thanks to these awesome supporters. Go to patreon.com slash unitycodemonkey to get some perks and help keep the videos free for everyone. Subscribe to the channel for more Unity tutorials, post any questions you have in the comments, and I'll see you next time.